and I'm Brian Hewitt. Welcome to our broadcast this evening as we bring the living word of God to over 200 countries throughout the world and just bringing the healing through your victory, which is our topic today, going through the Lord Jesus Christ, bringing in this beautiful truth, how the truth sets us free, spelled L-O-V-E. And we thank you, dear God, for this day. It's 6 p.m. here in Los Angeles, California. Good morning to you. Good evening to you. As we raise a praise to the Lord Jesus Christ. And before we get going, just before we went on the air, today's date is August 28th. And seven years ago, Katrina struck New Orleans. And about just about an hour and a half ago, it made its first landfall right at the mouth of the Mississippi River. It's going to make its second landfall, I, I believe, within a, an hour or so. Pray for the wisdom and discernment to fall upon all of New Orleans with the proper leadership. It sounds like they are so more prepared than seven years ago. But let the hand of God rise up a standard against this storm and heal and bring a healing of deliverance throughout all the Gulf Coast in Jesus' name. So as we move into our topic, our, our foundation scripture will be from Hosea chapter 4, and let's go before the throne of God and pray. I'm sure you do have your clean notebook paper ready. Let's go and pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your kindness. The blessings that you bring us upon to the road of grace, which brings us to the straight and narrow. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your truth, how your truth sets us all free. How your truth brings us to the deliverance of your time, your endless time of your love. Guide us in the atmosphere of your truth. Guide us in the atmosphere of your glory. Guide us into everything that you have for us. For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we lift up our strength and, to say that we cry unto you, O God, that we want to know ever some more stronger this day than we knew you yesterday. And I pour down upon us your wisdom and sermon. Dear Lord, we lift up our forgiveness and our prayers as you forgive all of us, O oh God, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and pour down upon us your, your new mercies of this new day. In the AM hours overseas, Asia, Africa, Europe, India, Pacific Rim, all the continents of God's loving truth, all the continents of your, us, knocking down the borders of this world, and where God did not create borders, but the ways a man did. Bring to us your, let us all feel that unlimited love you have, for us all, for the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Today is going to be kind of a strategic lesson of strategy. First lesson when it comes to strategy, a strategy is never repeated. That was the first thing I learned at part of my basic training of a different era and world many, many years ago. Strategy is never repeated. George Bush will obviously doesn't believe in that, but uh, Bill Clinton, yours truly, many other people sh certainly do. We go right to our foundation scripture, Hosea chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. We are speaking of healing through your victory. Satan will deceive you to feel that, hey, if you come out of this way, I'm the one that will heal you. I'm the one that's going to give you victory. Kind of putting you into listening to this obedience of his accountability of the wicked ways that he has more power than God. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Let us get into the knowledge base of love, of the healing, of the word of God. The love of understanding that the victory is already ours. All we have to do is fight the fight of good faith and bring to us God's loving, loving purpose to heal through the living word of God. And First John chapter 3, verse 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil, and for the devil sinneth from the, from the beginning. For this purpose the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. So, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You want to stay in this knowledge of, of the ways of man, the dark shadows. God's going to destroy you. No, 
excuses if you're a super nice person and you've made a lot of money and you gave a couple hundred dollars to the church. Wow. Wow. Stand back. But guess what? That's not going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. We cannot compromise the word of God. We cannot compromise anybody that is anointed and appointed into the word of God and God's grace. And I say this with a lot of personalities and names I can mention very soon. But the measurement of your oppression upon God's people will be brought back and used upon you as you're sentenced to hell for eternity when Christ does come back, removes grace from this world, comes back for his bride, and then comes back with a vengeance. You sure you want to be around? Then I would hit your knees big time right now throughout this broadcast. God's loving truth guides us into what we have. Not so much what we did have, what we're going to have, what we might have. God says, come to me. Come to me and be saved. Lord, attack us, love us, we're yours. Show us the purpose, the reason, the victory the, of our strength of why you created us so we could be, so we could raise a praise for you. Glorify God to you. Be a witness to others on this world. Let's jot down Galatians chapter 3, verse 13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having, having become a curse for us. The curse of the law is defeating defeating poverty, sickness, and death. To come away from that, to come into the glory of God's purpose. And right now, right now, how do we do this? Revelation chapter 12, verse 11 sings quite loud to you right now. It's, got, it's giving you the victory. It's giving you the healing. Revelation 12, 11. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. They did not love their lives so much as to shrink from death. God's given you opportunities for you to move from the victory test from the testimony to a victory testimony. Any chump can have a testimony, and that's Satan. Satan's got a testimony. You've got that victory testimony. You are that all the time gold medal moment with the heavenly choir singing your own anthem into your hearts. You want to be a champion, turn your life over to God. You want to understand what God, why God created the Garden of Eden? So, so that what God has a plan, He has provisions for you. And once you unlock your new life into the power of the key of wisdom, the beautiful wisdom, the beautiful woman called Wisdom, not only brings you to the river to be baptized for the endless rhyme called God, the eternity in God's kingdom, but it shows you the Garden of Eden is, is there inside of your heart. There. Inside of your heart. Coming into this loving truth. How the truth sets us all free. Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 4. The victory. All oh, the victory of your healing. For the Lord your God is going with you. He will fight for you. He will fight for you against your enemies and he will give you victory. Now, that doesn't mean you have to go down and take anyone's head off at the nearest bar stool. That's not how it's going to work. You just fight the fight of good faith. You pray ceaselessly. Back up your faith with works. Let God take care of the fight. Let God take care of the fight. A good story that uh, did happen with yours truly here. While I was living back in, in western New York, I would catch the bus to when I was still at Verizon Wireless. A young man recognized me from the shelters that I was preaching at and says that uh, he doesn't know what to do. Uh, should he call the police? It's like 5 o'clock in the morning. I owe a bunch of drug dealers money. What should I do? And I just said, hey. Turn your life over to, over to the Lord right now because you don't understand. They're going to kill me. He said, you don't understand. God will take care of the drug dealers. Turn your life over to the Lord. Well, he did so. 
They went from nervousness to calmness when I told them to turn around. Police came out of nowhere and took care of the drug dealers. In Jesus' name. God always has a plan. But you have to understand, you have to show your hunger for God. You have to show your faith towards God. Not to like, well, what if it doesn't work? Well, do it. As long as you are allowing God to lead your way into the battles of fighting the fight of good faith, but not go ahead of God, victory is yours. Victory is yours. Never go ahead of God with any of your circumstances. Ahead. Joshua chapter 10, verse 8. Don't be afraid of them, the Lord said to Joshua. For I have given you victory over them. Not a single one of them will be able to stand up to you. So anyone involved with the dark shadows of Satan's army, they cannot even think about standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. They are the chump change of ancestral lifestyles who call themselves God, probably software developers. But we come into this time. God's truth, God's love, and bringing to this, to the endless rhyme of God's love. For the healing, for... Isaiah chapter 53, verse 5. He was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and by his stripes we are healed. Christ died for you so you could understand the victory of your healing. Christ died for you so you, you can bring upon the understanding of what Matthew 8, 17 says. He took our infirmities and, born, and bore our sickness. Power is in the Word of God. Power is into that opportunity of knowing the truth about the Lord Jesus Christ. Coming into this time right now, singing of, of everything that God gives to us right now. Dear Lord, take us, love us, we're yours. Bring us to that mountaintop. Bring us to your valleys. Bring us to the strengthening of the wisdom of your love. Now. In Jesus' name. Brothers and sisters. We love you. God can give you whatever you believe in your heart. You just must believe in it, and you shall say it. God doesn't really care what flows from your lip. It's what flows from your heart. Moving into the unity of God's love, God's truth, how he sets us all free. You can do this with a healing. You don't have to run around and say, Hey, Brother Brian, will you touch me? I need it when you touch me. No. If you are with Christ, of one mind and one judgment of Christ, you are redeemed, you've been baptized by the water and by the Spirit, you then have the power to touch yourself and heal yourself. Many people, many people have moved into this time right now. Many people have understood only what they themselves wanted to understand. They limited themselves. They limited themselves now. We come into this purpose. We come into this glory. We come into this understanding. We seek the goodness of the truth. And how does this all happen? The truth. The truth is laying there in a treasure chest right before you. And it can be unlocked by you stepping forward into the arms of Christ, into your new life. This is for those who don't know Christ, who wish to be saved, to understand what redemption truly is, and all those for those who need to have their life recommitted with Christ. For Romans 10, 13, I sing aloud to you tonight, brethren, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God, Repeat this after me, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner. 
and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place, paying the penalty for my sins. I believe I am willing right now to turn from my sin, accept Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life and to take me and take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I am your lifting your name up to the throne of God. But most important, brethren, God's very own angels are singing your name before the throne of God. And God does know when you are praying because your prayers go up before his face like incense. The importance of prayer, the importance of accountability to the throne room of God. Now, there's a lot to learn. God's love is beautiful. God's love is overwhelming. It is like the never-ending feeling of a kiss that's there for you of that feeling for all, all, all of eternity. In Jesus' name. The invitation starts with your offering of obedience, getting into the living word of God, getting yourself into a faith-based, spirit-led church, midweek Bible study, Sunday service, services of the saints, small group Bible studies. Remember, you don't have to really go to that name church in your city that's got a big old choir and a big old orchestra and 10,000 people jumping off the balcony. I say at this point, it's good to go to a small church with an experienced pastor. Some of those smaller churches are the best teachers and preachers and that this country's ever seen. My old mentor, uh, Dr. Eula herself, she started out pretty much the same day that my sister Grace Jones' father started out in, a, in different cities, about 80 miles apart, about the size of a barber shop. There was her, her husband and like their children, and I mean, my wife, Eula's husband, Reverend Jones's wife, and their children, and a couple of friends. And uh, Reverend Jones grew to a congregation about two or three thousand. And uh, Dr. Eula grew up to roughly about seven or eight hundred with about a couple thousand as an extended family throughout the United States. But its power is in the Word of God. Power is that you can have what well, Anita and I kind of get quiet about is when somebody takes one scripture and runs and opens up a church. Let God bring you to that moment. Don't bring God to that moment. Let God bring you to that moment. In Jesus' name. Now, the invitation comes for you to become a financial partner to this ministry. A financial partner to this ministry. To be part of our missions teams, our evangelical team, our translation team. And really help change the world by being a peacemaker. Those who are called the peacemakers shall be called what? Children of God. That change maker that's written inside yet that new heart of yours. As you now the beautiful truth in the scriptures, Jesus says, The harvest, look over to the field, the harvest is white, but your harvest is now. Just believe in your heart that you shall receive it, and you shall have it. As you plant your seed into this ministry, your return on investment is the harvest of now. The power is of the waiting of the Lord, but providing you are hungry, even if you've been recommitted with the Lord, or you're 20 plus years of experience like my wife and I have, you still need to be fed. You still need to pray ceaselessly. I recommend a pray in the Spirit for those who have been baptized with the giftings of the Spirit. And to understand there are many different levels of Satan's warfare. But all of his warfare have with just one trick bag with three weapons inside of it, controlling your thoughts, ideas, and suggestions. So as you plant your financial seed into this ministry, the window, heavens of, windows, windows of heaven will open up and pour down your blessings all over you. That you have no room to place them in any of your storehouses or barns. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 107 verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destruction from their destruction. You reap what you sow. 
plant your seed into this ministry. Go to our website, get to know us. Visit our mission teams at bryantewitt.com. Bryantewitt.com. You'll see the our donation link. It'll go right to us. And if you don't want to send it there, you can go to our contact link and see our physical address. And our full name is Morningstar Communications Network, MCM Ministries. We are 501c3 certified church here in the United States. In Jesus' name. Proverbs 16, verse 24. Pleasant words are like honeycomb. Sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. We sing of a new morning. And parts of the world that new morning is now. Isaiah 58, verse 8. Your light shall break like, like forth like the morning. Your healing shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of, of the Lord shall be your rear guard. God is all around you. You've got the victory. You've got the victory. Psalm verse chapter 3, verse 8. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you bless your people. 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. Yes. I've had many close friends that I knew died years ago, but I never used that excuse not to go on. I closed that door shut. I have forgiven those who trespass against me, who, no matter who they are, they've been forgiven. But it doesn't mean that I want them or invite them back into my life. They stay checked by God. In the masterless name of Jesus, we bring you the sweet-smelling savor of God's purpose. That's you. To understand that you now have the heart of a warrior, the prophetic heart of the warrior. You've got the sword of the Spirit, which is the living word of God. You're going into this life, this world, knowing that all aspects of the truth is going to set us all free. All aspects of the truth is going to bring us to the glory of the God. Glory of you, O Lord. Four, we have the victory of our healing. In John chapter 5, verse 16, trust, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that, that you may be healed. Forgive those that have done wrong to you. Forgive everybody, love everybody in the name of Jesus doesn't mean you have to go home with them. Psalms 118, verse 17, I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Amen. Yes, declaring the works of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Now, brethren, now. John chapter, John, third John chapter 2. Beloved, I pray that you prosper on all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Prosperity belongs to you. Say this with great confidence, like Creflo said this to me three or four years ago. You are a millionaire. And I say that he goes, repeat this after me, Brian. I am a millionaire. I am a millionaire. Everyone thought I was crazy. I walked up to Casey Price. I'm a millionaire. But it's not the first time you ever said that about me. But we say and the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will forgive. He will be forgiven. For God, man must learn how to forgive man, because God forgives man. We must learn and take God as an example of how we should forgive. We go into such a, a depth of the new world. Again, let me read Psalms 3, verse 8. Victory comes from you, O Lord. May you, may you bless your people. Romans chapter 8, 31 and 32. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall it's tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or pearl or sword? As it is written. For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay. And all these things we are born than, more than conquerors through him that loved us. What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for all of us. How shall we not 
how shall he not with them also freely give us all things? For in the matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen and amen. We sing unto you, O Lord. We sing unto you the holy truth, and the truth that set us all free. We are giving you an opportunity. We are doing our job by coming into your homes and your iPhones, your iPads, and the Googles and everything. We have come to three different networks that goes to over, over 200 countries every broadcast we do. We come at you, O oh Lord, and understand that each and every one of us comes to you with a special need. Lift up, lift everything up unto us, O oh God. We thank you in the earnestness of your prayer. We thank you for all the victory of your healing. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we thank you for your love. We thank you for your purpose. And we thank you for each and every one of the stones you have casted away and forgiven us of our sins and thrown, us into the, and thrown those sins into the sea of forgetfulness. We have the renewing of the mind, the new heart. We cry unto you for the victory of our healing is ours. We sing unto you, O God, and we thank you for all the truth, how you provided that victory of the change. You walk over the river of change into the open arms of you, O Jesus Christ. Baptized by the blood of Calvary. We thank you for the baptism of understanding the strength of the unity of the Holy Spirit, giving us that strength to lift up our forgiveness daily, to pray ceaselessly, to ask you that we want to know you ever some more today than we knew you yesterday in a strong, stronger of the strength way. And then pour down upon us a wisdom and discernment every day. For in a matchless name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, Amen. Brothers and sisters, and a good day to you. Good morning and good evening here in North America. We thank you for joining us on this broadcast this day. And on behalf of Anita and the man, we thank you for your time until next time. Do see so you up to date with all of our news and information of our, of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianJewitt.com. BrianJewitt.com. And brethren, do check out our online store. As well, as our, as well as our prayer requests that are there for you 24 hours, 7 days a week. Again, at BrianChewitt.com, BrianChewitt.com. And for those who wish to follow us and really see our broadcast and ministry growing, do follow us at, at BrianChewitt over Twitter. We walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, audios. Good day for the people.